We tend to get sensitive and vulnerable when it comes to parents. It's the people who raised us and we love them so much. At the same time, we want some distance from them. It almost feels like we want to love them from the distance. Is it because of the childhood traumas that we haven't healed? Or is it because they exhibit some annoying behaviors that we cannot accept in ourselves? On Friday, I bought the tickets. And on Monday, I flew Amsterdam Sharm el Sheikh to see my parents. Given the current situation in Russia, it felt to me that, if not now, I don't know when. So I landed in Egypt and waiting for my baggage right now. What was surprising is that even on passport control they didn't speak any English. So they were taking a picture of me and when I asked like what is it for, they were like okay, 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 what's okay. I'm asking what the picture is for. No reply. I feel and look quite disheveled. I started my journey today at 8 a.m. and now it's um, almost 3 a.m. Most of the time during my trip I was just working and editing my video. I am quite run down and I run on low sleep. I slept four hours today because I really had to finish last minute things to make sure that I'll have more free time with my parents. Okay, I got my luggage and when I thought it's okay, finally Dobby is free and free to go. No, there is another queue. Like to exit the airport we need to stand on this. Very long queue. That's usually the problem with countries like Indonesia, Tunisia or Egypt is that it's really poorly organized. It was a weird vibe at the airport. They asked this man to open his suitcase and smelled what I thought was food. Obviously I understand why they're doing it, but it still feels a little bit unusual for someone who lives in Europe. Three local men at the airport told me beautiful, which felt rather intimidating and frightening than like a compliment. But this all doesn't matter because finally, after eight long months, I got to see my parents again. I felt over the moon, so loved and cared for. This special feeling I get when I'm around my parents simply because they are my parents. The older I get, the more I cherish the simple moments that I get to spend with my parents. Not to sound overly dramatic, but I simply realize that they're not going to be here forever. And then how it might happen in every family for the first few days after the reunion, everything runs smoothly and perfectly, and then some conflict may arise. Mom and I have a different approach to clothes. She likes to have 10 different outfits and swimwear. For me, the price she's paid for these 10 different outfits, I have a good quality one. I really don't feel like I need 10. Okay, I might have taken it to another extreme because it's nice to have two or three. But anyhow, what I want to talk about here is criticism. Number one, criticism from parents. I got into my black pants Mom said that it's summer, why are you wearing black? Then she commented on me wearing the same thing for two days. Then another comment, well, you get the picture. A few years ago, this would have driven me crazy. Now, I took a deep breath and I asked my mom, how often have you complimented me on anything since I arrived? She said, every time. I said, okay, if this is the case, then I'd like to hear only compliments from now on. She made a comment, something along the lines of, who if not your mom will tell you the truth? Oh, of course you're beautiful, this goes without saying, we shouldn't even mention it because you know it. I said that I'm open to feedback, but I'd like to be reminded of the good things that I have. This was the end of the conversation and to be honest with you, it felt good because I didn't lash out but at the same time I did not just swallow my mom's criticism. She got the point and for the rest of the holiday she complimented me every single day. I am right now with my parents at this all-inclusive resort. It has, I think, four or five hotels on its territory. It's huge. To go from one place to another, you need to go on a shuttle bus. So when I asked where is the gym, they were like, you need to take a shuttle bus number four to get there. If I were to go on my own, I'm not sure I would pick it because um, it's just not really my vibe. It's just not really something that I would do on my own. But this is not my holidays. This is the holidays of my parents. And I'm just tagging along because I'd like to spend some time with them. And now with my par <laughs> and now with my parents we're exploring the resort.
just so you understand how gigantic this place is this is all it from there till till here number two healing a relationship with dad i was never close to my dad he always seemed to me threatening, unapproachable, and even aggressive. As a child, I was afraid of his reactions because he was explosive and quick-tempered. For the last two years I was living home in Moscow, I was avoiding him as much as possible. I could not simply bear his presence. A lot of issues in my romantic relationships were dragged from the relationship I had with my dad. It felt like I was subconsciously looking for someone who is just my dad unapproachable, avoidant, and emotionally closed off. Someone whose love I would need to win. After therapy and a lot of self-work that I did, I could finally let it go. I now see my dad as a human. I finally took the time to understand his life path. Jeez, it feels so easy, but I was so absorbed in my own pain that I could not see the story from his point of view. Somehow it all made sense now. I know that we will never build this perfect father-daughter relationship that I have in mind, but at the same time, we've never been closer and more comfortable with each other than now. So what's the advice here? How do you heal your relationship? Because I don't think I was particularly useful here. I haven't shared anything tangible, as in follow this one, two, three steps and you will get there. And the reason for it is because there is not such a thing, like there is not one thing that's do this and it will work. To me it was a combination of therapy, spiritual practices and finding love, compassion and forgiveness in my heart. If you continue focusing on this and continue asking questions, I reassure you that the answers will come. First time in three days I'm leaving the hotel, I'm leaving this resort and with my parents and some guy called Ahmed, it's my parents' friend apparently, we're going to explore Shelma Shake. So this is the entrance to the resort and the rest looks, well, yeah, looks pretty. shopping number three accepting parents the way they are I had my fair share of being angry with them for the things that they were not able to provide and still are not able to provide then I grieved and now acceptance came would I be friends with my parents if they were not my parents imagine if they're just my peers would I be friends with them? I honestly don't think so because their views on the world are a little bit narrow-minded and because I am not able to be fully myself with them, as in they cannot tolerate and bear the intensity of emotions I sometimes have. I'll give you an example. Two years ago I came for the New Year's and my mom and I were standing on a bus stop. She asked me some question and in answering it, I teared up and I got really upset. Mom said, stop crying, let's change the topic. <laughs> this is their approach. It's more like if we ignore it and if we don't talk about it, it hasn't happened or it's not happening, which is not something that works for me and I don't think that this is productive. There was something completely unrelated to them that was bothering me back in Egypt, but I knew that in the moment I couldn't share it. Because I'd get vulnerable and in this vulnerable state I would get hurt even more by their reaction. So why do this to myself? And anticipating your question if this is something that I'm looking for in a friendship or if my friends are able to do that. Yes, all my friends are capable of this. All my friends are capable of meeting me in my rawness and intensity because almost all of them went through therapy and are very close with their emotions. But my parents are my parents. They don't have to meet the standards I have for my friends. I learned to not judge them and to not focus on the negative. My parents have so many good qualities. They are absolutely loving and caring. They don't assume that because we are family, I should be merged with them. 
They always respect my choices and encourage me to live my life, even if this life is 2,500 kilometers away from them. My parents are truly amazing. I'm proud to have parents like this. And it always breaks my heart when I have to say goodbye. I now had the weirdest experience in Egypt airport in Shalman Sheikh. So first of all, they let us go through one security frame to just get into the airport then passport control, then another security frame to just go to departures, and then another security uh, check. It was just a random check, they randomly picked people. We had to, again, write down our flight number, name, surname. And of course, this girl got picked because I look extremely suspicious. This wasn't over yet. Then I went to the toilet and the, the the weirdest thing happened to me. The toilet, the cleaning lady, she followed me. There was no toilet paper there. And she was like, excuse me. And she literally like handed me the toilet paper. And not like the whole roll, but just a little bit. I was like, yeah, I guess that's fine. I'm just taking it. She was just standing behind the door. And I was like, is she watching me? Is there like a camera? Or like, I looked up and I was like, is she there? And then I tried to wash my hands. The key word here is try, because there was no running water, there was no soap, and she just gave me a tiny drop of soap, and there was just one tap out of five that had running water. And she was like, oh, so I'm sorry, I apologize, excuse me. I'm like, yeah, no problem, I guess. I'm just gonna, gonna go over the floor. All this time I was thinking, what does she want from me? Like, why is she doing this? And of course, once I've done washing my hands, she was like, would you tip me please? And she showed me her belly, she was heavily pregnant. And I was like, yeah, Jesus, this is just weird. This is just a weird experience at the airport.